Hey guys, welcome back to another UiPath tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how can you use data table dot select method to filter data table using select method. Okay, so this is a very new learning for you. Let's see how to do that. Now, before we start, I would request you to create a simple data table like this. So this data table has got name, date of joining, department and salary couple of names date of joining as per you want and here I have taken very specific name for the department IT finance marketing finance IT so you assign couple of employees as IT couple of employees as finance couple of marketing account security okay and then uh, enter some salaries okay 12,000 30,000 18,000 so the condition is less than 30,000 I am going to show you but again you put some um, you know I have kept one employee uh, beyond above 30,000 so put some imaginary salaries into the excel file and save it okay so once the excel file is created let's go back to the studio and understand what is the task the task for you if i ask you let me go back to the uh, excel file if i ask you uh, filter only it employees using select method so how will you do this filter only it employees so how many it employees are there one two three in this example so you should filter using the select method so how to do that let's see it now the first thing we will uh, because we are using excel we will look for excel we'll type excel and we will go to um, excel process scope we'll drag and drop that and then within that we are going to use use excel file okay now let us select the excel file done once you have selected what do you want to do you want to read it right so let me type read range i want to read the range so i am using the excel icon read range activity because this is the modern activities which is recently added so i'm using this now here you will get a if you highlight your mouse pointer you have a plus sign click on it hit on excel and hit on indicate in excel okay so automatically it should take you to the excel file if there are any errors there will be prompt you can install the add-ins okay if you are doing it for the very first time it will prompt you to install add-in so once you um, once this is done once you have selected the range hit on confirm done after that you would like to save it to some data table right so let's create a variable here and let me give it a name let's say dt employee data table so dt employee is the data table okay as soon as you have created the variable if you go to the variable panel the variable has been created very good now the next important part to use the data table dot select method first of all we will use assign activity and here let's create a variable and i'm going to give it a name let's say dt filter so once you filter the it employee that should store in this particular data table called dt filter okay so let's uh, change the variable data type to data table done so once the data table is selected now the important part is how do you write the expression okay so let's write the expression i am hitting on the value and here first thing what is a primary data table dt employee right which contains all the data all this data is there in the dt employee now now here i'll use the dot select method so i'll say dot select and in the bracket now look at the syntax the syntax is very very important so how it works you are first putting a because this is a method and the method has to enclose by two moon brackets right and then within that i will use two double quotes within the moon bracket i am using a double quote two double quotes fine now what is the column you want to filter what is the task for us only it employees i need so the column the header name is department right so let's copy this so that we don't make a mistake department and let's go back and here if you write department because it's a column right it's a column so you have to put two square brackets around it getting it so how did we start we started with two moon brackets and then two double quotes and then writing the column name within the square bracket okay and here i will say equals to what is our filter then our filter is it so this it needs to be quoted by 
two single quotes. Okay, here we are not using double quote. So the double quote has to be used only once. If you look at only once I have used and two moon brackets. And anything that you want to write the text, you have to put it in that put that in a single quote. Done. So there is no error. Right? There is no error. Now here at the end, because the output of dot select method is data row, array of rows. That is the output. So output of select is array of rows or array of data rows that is the output now to convert this data rows into data table format all i need to do is simply write copy as data table okay dot copy as slightly slow copy copy to data table okay this is what you need to write so the moment you write this what would happen the data array of data row output will get converted into data table format that is the output so i'm also going to show you how can you use even the dt filter is a data table kind of a variable if i select data row how to use that i'm going to show you after this so this much you have understood now what happened writing that expression only the staffs whose names are under it only those three items should be three rows should be selected and that get placed into dt filter now i wanted to see the output for that we can use output data table right i'll use output data table activity uh, and here i will simply say dt filter this is the output so this output data table is going to convert dt filter into string look at this it is going to convert it to string so here uh, let's create a variable and i'm going to name it as dt string output okay hit on enter and okay fine now let's use a simple message box and see this output in the message box dt uh, string output right that i want to see in the message box now let us run it and see if our values are coming so what is our first task our task is to only get the IT employees okay so let's see that how the output is coming okay so we, okay so now you can look at this the output the message box has come it is showing name date of joining department and salary fine and then showing John James who are from IT department correct and then uh, Carson even he is from the IT department. So one, two, three different names has appeared. Fine. So let's click on OK. All right. So now this task is completed. How to get? Now if I ask you the second task for you, filter both filter IT and uh, finance employees. I want two different employees. I want the IT department employee names, also the finance, IT and finance, both the things I need. Okay. Now, both the things when you need, let's go back and slightly change this expression, in the assign activity. All right. So, as I said, everything should be there in the double code. The, the, the double code has should be used only once. Okay. This should be very clear. Now, from where I should start then? From here. Okay. So, I need both. Should I use a end expression or, or expression? Tell me. Should I, should I use end department is equal to finance or should I write or department is equal to finance? What is your answer? Right. The answer should be or because look at the department. So this is how you have to write. Let me first write the expression. I'll say or space and then again I'm using two square brackets and I'm going to write department fine and here i'm going to say equals to and again in single quote i will write finance now why i'm writing or why not uh, why not end look at the complete expression okay this is how i have written copy to data table now why i'm writing or because in your uh, data table department is equals to it and department is equal to finance means it is thinking in the department column there should be something called it and finance 
there is nothing called IT and finance, either IT or finance. So it has to be IT or finance. Okay. So all these output should come using this expression. So let's run it and see the output. Okay. Okay, it started running. Now let's see the output. So how many outputs has come? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is it correct? 1, 2, this person is 3, Rahul and then Jagan, uh, John, James and Carson, right? So all the 5 outputs have come properly. So you must have understood why you should use a OR instead of an AND. Don't get confused. Because the task says filter IT and finance, that does not mean you will be writing end, you will be writing a or. Okay, so that should be clear. Now, if I ask you the third condition, uh, filter IT and finance, okay, as above, okay, filter IT and finance, and the condition is salary should be less than 30,000, let's say 30. So you should filter IT and finance people whose salary is less than 30K. Now, if you look at this person's salary is less than 30K, even this is 30,000 is, I mean, it is less, I mean, uh, equals to 30,000. So this should also appear. So this, this uh, finance guy is 18,000. So this out should appear. But for Jagan, his salary is 32,000. So this should not appear as the output. Okay. So when this kind of a condition is thrown, how are you going to write it? So let's go back. Let's go back and here let us write the condition. So here again I said one double quote, right? So within that we have to write. So let's write here I will say and. So here I'm using end condition because this is a different column now because these are two same columns. So I have to say or IT or finance and this column is different. Salary column is different, right? And salary column again for columns I'll use a square bracket and say salary don't make spelling mistake and ensure how it is written we have written that okay fine salary then i will say equals to again i'll use so this is this is a, a integer right salary is less than uh, 30000 or less than equals to whatever you want to write okay 30000 fine written now let's see how many outputs are coming this time so please do this this is very very important to understand the dot select method do it on on your uipa studio practice it and maintain a separate notebook where you are writing all this okay so now you can see the jagan has not appeared on the output if you look at uh, rahul whose uh, salary is 18000 john if you compare uh, 12000 carson 19000 james uh, 30000 uh, james 30000 all this have come but jagan did not appear so you must have understood how the select method works now one more important part as i said uh, what if as i said the output comes as a data row right array of data rows so how that output if i want to use in that format even you can do it for example this dt filter is in data table data type so let me change it to data row so how do you change browse for types and here type data row okay and select so here sorry i should type array of data row the output is array of data row so first thing is we need an array so i'll sorry you don't have to come over here select here array of t and here select browse for types and let me type data row okay let's select data row so what happened now the dt filter output has turned itself to array of row in that case you don't have to write the end expression which says copy to data table okay copy to data table and click on okay but to see the output in the output data table because this is an array of data row here we need to convert it into data table because this activity requires it to be a data table so here you can write copy to data table okay this is another way uh, just for your learning purpose okay you should know the output of dot select is array of data row done so let's run it again it will bring us the same output without any error
okay guys so is is it clear all right so thank you so much for watching please do experiments and maintain a separate notebook where you are writing uh, every day's learning right whatever you are learning you maintain a very separate notebook you are not writing anything else in that apart from ui path whatever you are learning continue to write properly and nicely because whatever you are learning highly possible after 10 days you may not exactly remember what you learned today so you should have a notebook which would help you to revise it will help you to revise anytime you have to go for an interview or want to give an exam right so it would help you to refer back because revision is the key everybody reads it but less people revise it so re if you do a revi revision of the topics that you have learned it's going to help you all right so thank you guys for watching this we are going to come up with more such interesting contents uh, for you take care bye bye